All right, this is gonna be your final talking head video uh, until the next time that you see me and I'll be at the airport. So, cause I gotta be there about eight o'clock-ish cause that means I have to be ready to board 9.20, boarding to turn into flying out at 10 p.m. here West Coast time and then getting home about 5.30 East Coast time on Tuesday morning and then taking a lift back to my apartment and then probably getting some sleep and then most likely doing fig hunts at Target or Walmart because that's what I need to do. So I still have another week off of work, which is fantastic. That being said, we're gonna go into the final of these this talking head video that I've been doing. And I have one for every single day of this vacation and they're gonna be put up in succession as soon as I get back. So let's talk about the final day. So yeah, the final like full day in the parks. I had, when the world shut down, I had made it a point to start watching roller coaster videos on YouTube. And I got into roller coaster YouTubing and really being ingrained in roller coaster culture, enthusi culture and being a want to add credits to my list and everything like that. It's like, obviously it's like, I've been, I've done Kings Island, I've done Cedar Point, but then back in the day, it's like, I didn't really ride as many coasters as I probably could have. So my creds should be a lot higher, but they're not. So that being said, when I knew I was going to go out to California, other than going back to Disneyland, other than finally seeing Universal Studios Hollywood, Knott's Berry Farm and Six Flags Magic Mountain were the last pieces of the puzzle. And as with the Knott's credits that I got nine, let's uh, go ahead and uh, Chris Nolan this. I got 15 today. Let's talk about it, shall we? So Eric joined us for the day. Uh, me and Troy and Eric went to Six Flags Magic Mountain and we got in the park about 11.02. Now I had a little snafu here because doing the vaccination, steez and everything like that. I this is a little bit of a disconnect and didn't realize he had to use the clear app in order to be able to uh, get in. That was a quicker way to do it. I They end up going through, no problem. I had to wait in the regular line, no big deal. So we got Flash Pass. Um, it's funny because Flash Pass to me, I, I saw the pictures and they're like, they look like Tappy Tappy wearables, like it's not the same exact thing. So it's cool because with their annual passes, number one, Eric got me into the park. And number two, they got discounted Flash Pass basically which there's multi tiers of flash pass and it's basically front of the line access but it's different time frame so it's like you can basically reserve a time to come back and you'd skip x amount of time well this was platinum so we skipped like 90 percent of the line so that was that was cool and most of the times that worked and it did work greatly so first ride right away uh we talked about the america's greatest roller coaster thrills video that I remember bringing to junior high school science class as extra credit. And I remember there were several roller coasters from Six Flags Magic Mountain on this video. The first one is the first one that we rode and that was Viper. So yeah, it takes me back to the 90s when I watched that roller coaster video and I remember watching the hosters like, what? they're going up the left hill and you hear the next thing you know, it's like, Viper was designed by Ron Toomer and everything. Of course, Aerodynamics. It's, sadly, uh, companies no longer exist. Uh, they were the gold standard at one point. Uh, they did a lot of Cedar Point coasters. So yeah, it was cool to be able to ride Viper finally. A lot of nice double loop. I enjoyed it. Is first ride, I was worried because I kind of tweaked my, uh, I can't say, maybe he's tweaked my hamstring somewhat. Yeah, I've been able to run on it and everything, so it's fine, but it's like, trying to get out of the Matterhorn. So I was like, oh God, they're gonna kill me at Six Flags. No, it didn't happen. Didn't happen at Knott's, didn't happen at Six Flags. Viper's fine, I enjoyed it. Then we went right to Apocalypse afterwards. Apocalypse was a nice uh, wooden coaster. I enjoyed that, that was entertaining and educational. And then we did Gold Rusher, cause that was, that was fun. Um, so then another ride that was part of that roller coaster video that would be the Riddler's Revenge. So yeah, ride's great. Loved it. Stand up coaster. I haven't been on one in a long time. Obviously, started my roller coaster uh, going experience on King Cobra back at then Paramount's Kings Island, 
And I ended it with what is now Rubaru at Cedar Point, which is was Mantis at the time. So yeah, I, that was entertaining. Uh, the only problem with Riddler, um, restraint, obviously, over the shoulder restraint is fine, but if for some reason it was like cauliflowering my ears. I have no idea why. It doesn't make any sense. We had lunch at the Full Throttle Sports Bar. I had some garlic fries and barbecue sauce. That was great. Now, I saw immediately that they were not only promoting the fact that they're proudly supporting Coke, because everybody does, this is how it works, but they also support Heinz, and I was like, Ugh, Heinz barbecue sauce is death warmed over um luckily i found out via looking at it that bullseye is uh, affiliated with heinz as well so needless to say they had bullseye barbecue sauce which is awesome super good full throttle sports bar leads us into full throttle itself another thing i got excited in are the roller coaster videos and roller coaster videos also got me into uh the roller coaster parody videos and also some other uh, roller coaster youtubers as well and one of them was full, four full throttle. A uh, fantastic ride, uh, great launches, frontwards launch, backwards launch, uh, a great over the shoulder, take a shot, a great over the shoulder fake to basically just, not an over the shoulder restraint, but like kind of a lap bar, basically just like Velocicoaster. So yeah, oh, love full throttle. I was in the front row for it. I threw my arms up. I got some serious air time. That was solid. Speaking of airtime, praise be Rocky Mountain Construction. Dear God, RMC, first time ever riding an RMC, and that would be Twisted Colossus. Dear Lord. Uh, so obviously Colossus is something that I've been wanting to ride for a long time. I've seen it in various films and television shows throughout the years, and it was like, you know what, I need to ride this ride. And of course, Colossus went down. RMC basically deciding to turn old wooden coasters into brand new, like, steel hybrids. Fantastic. Uh, Twisted Colossus, my god, I don't think I was in my seat at all. Just a phenomenal ride in the back. Oh, so much airtime. So much airtime. And it's great because it's a race at one point that was really fun. And just like, uh, Twisted Colossus, absolutely amazing. Got done with it and went straight to Justice League Battle for Metropolis. Uh, so yeah, nice dark ride uh, with some really like ugh, 1990s like style like animation it was just terrible didn't do as bad as i did at berry tales thankfully it was okay of a ride it was a great experience it was strange because usually i'm like oh your 3d glasses they were using literal real d 3d glasses from the theater that i used to get all the time and i still have plenty of them back in west virginia so and then we went to a uh, west coast ray take a shot West Coast Racers, should I say West Coast Delayers? Oh, good to quote, obviously, uh, Dakota, and because um, he is the voice of the Coaster Parodies videos from Taylor Baby. So, yeah, Coaster Studio, shout out. Thing is, uh, West Coast Racers, um, the problem I have with West Coast Racers, 100%, it's too slow. It's weird because I remember when I went to Bush Gardens Tampa last time and I, and I got the credit for Tigris. I remember the um, the hardline roll being like super slow to the point that it was something that almost made me lose my glasses and my facial covering. So yeah, it didn't work. But yeah, West Coast, um, I thought it'd be a lot faster. It's about as fast as the Fast and Furious ride at Universal. Uh, so either way, that's that's probably not the correct answer. But I, West Coast was fine. It was okay. It was like I said, with full throttle being too short. I think West Coast Racers was the right length, but it was too slow, weirdly enough. Something that wasn't slow was the next thing we took on, and that's X2. Now, X2, of course, the 4D coaster. It's great because basically you have this ride vehicle and you have seats that are on the opposite side. They're not like, like this. They're literally on the sides. And I thought it was going to be like a like a free spin but it wasn't and it was just like it just flipped you around and you start going backwards and then you end up on your face and like all oh, all sorts of revolutions just a fantastic experience i enjoyed it i there was one time i kind of like just like when i was first training for professional wrestling and i uh, didn't tuck my chin when i hit the canvas for the first time yeah i forgot to tuck my chin and i banged the back of my head against it i was against the seat rest i was like yeah it didn't work out but it was fine 
New Revolution uh, was next, or the New Classic Revolution, or whatever you want to call it. Revolution, of course, it's got that big loop ski, and of course, something I remember from a National Lampoon's vacation, obviously. And it was being able to ride that ride, one of the first ever, uh, like, show loop coasters on the planet. And they even have an ace placard, which is so cool, uh, the ace enthusiast, the American coaster enthusiast. Super awesome. I did the Helpful Honda Express, which is basically just their, like, their monorail to get you up the hill ski. So that worked. And then we did Ninja, which Ninja reminded me, and it, and it brought back some really good memories. It reminded me a lot of, like, Big Bad Wolf at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and Iron Dragon at Cedar Point and even, to a lesser extent, uh, King's Island's old Top Gun. So, yeah, nice little swinging suspended coaster. I enjoyed that. It was fun. And then another part of the roller coaster video was Goliath and Goliath had the 255 foot drop so we crest over the top of the lift hill and then all of a sudden instead of going straight down thankfully it goes at an angle and then it goes underneath into a tunnel and I threw my arms up and just let gravity take me and oh that g-forces almost took the, the mask right off and thankfully I was biting that mask it was no tomorrow so I could ride that ride but I got that credits, so that's all that matters. And then I finished with uh, another run through of Twisted Colossus because Scream went down. So we went back to Twisted and we got a night ride on Twisted. And I said, oh man, that was solid. Fantastic. In the front this time around. So I got a little bit of the best of both worlds when I come to Twisted Colossus. Uh, just a solid ride all across the board. Did Scream afterwards. Uh, that would be the final like traditional like adult roller coaster that we got to ride on on the vacation and on the day itself. That was a nice little B and M. I really enjoyed it. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Kraken. Take a shot. Yeah, yeah. Take a shot. Yeah, that's right. A little bit of Kraken at Sea World. A little bit of Incredible Hulk at uh, Universal Studios Florida. Take a shot at uh, <laughs> Islands of Adventure. Sorry, it's been a long week. Needless to say, I just enjoyable i had a great time fun stuff we went to uh, wascals and got some chicken strips and fries good stuff uh more bullseye barbecue sauce and more of the uh, seasoned fries so good and a uh coke zero so good and then we got our uh, kids creds with uh roadrunner express speedy gonzalez hot rod racers and finished the night elron on <laughs> canyon blaster it's funny because all the kids' rides we actually got double shots on because everybody else wanted to ride again. They're like, ah, sure, whatever. And then went to the Funnel Cake Factory, filmed one last sip and snack for the cookies and cream funnel cake, and uh, hit two targets on the way home, unsuccessfully fig, fig hunting, and now I'm back at the hotel. <coughs> so I have stuff to do, obviously. I do a little pack ski here. I'm going to do that in a little bit. And then I get to go to bed because I have to be up. I really don't have to be up early tomorrow. I just get up in the morning, get, grab some breakfast downstairs for my last time. And then uh, get ready to go. Uh, hit the car and do some more targets, more fig hunting. I got to drive my car at 120. And then afterwards, uh, kill some time, get some food. And then back to the airport at 8 o'clock, get on the flight at 10. And fly back to Orlando and do this all over again the next time. So, yeah. Six Flags Magic Mountain, great success. Very much enjoyed my time at Magic Mountain and I cannot wait to return. Tatsu, Batman the Ride, they were both not operating currently. Wonder Woman is not opening until the summer and um, I couldn't ride Magic Flyer because I was too tall. So yeah, go figure. And Superman's just irrelevant, doesn't really matter. It's not a roller coaster, I don't care what anybody says. So yeah, that was just... And it didn't have Flash Pass, so I still won. So anything that was involved with Flash Pass, we got to do, except for Crazanity. And I don't ride Frisbees. So needless to say, that was a, a very great success for uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. And that's going to be the end of all of our videos here. Uh, thanks, everyone, for following along with us throughout the days, through all the sip and snacks and everything that we've done in this adventure. The Snapchat, the Twitter, through Facebook. All of these things that we've done and uh, can't wait to come back to California somewhere down the line. It may end up being sooner than you think. Who knows? I guess we'll see what happens. So that being said, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. Until tomorrow, boys and girls. That's all I got to say about that.